Hey, Tim from PM Pro Learn here, and we're to, here today to talk about three point estimating, which is PMP hack number one, teaching you how to hack the PMP exam. You may have come across a PMP sample question that looks like this. Using the three point estimating method, the variance for the project is found to be 16 days, and the duration of the project is found to be 90 days. What is the range of values for the project duration such that there will be at least a 95% probability that the actual project completion will fall between the high and low value of the range of values? And then they give you some answer choices. They give you a couple of day ranges here. And our goal is to figure out which one of these day ranges is going to give me that 95% probability of occurrence. So let's look at the estimating tool of three-point estimating. It uses optimistic, pessimistic, and realistic projective values for whatever you're trying to estimate in order to determine a range. Optimistic, pessimistic, and realistic could also be called best case, worst case, and most likely. And we're going to use those three points to do what's called a beta distribution or also known as PERT. And that stands for Program Evaluation and Review Technique. And we're going to do come up with a range there. The first step is to come up with a three-point weighted average, which is going to be called my estimate. And to do that, I'm going to take the optimistic, plus four times the realistic, plus the pessimistic, divide the whole thing by six. Why do we divide by six? Well, because you actually have six numbers on the numerator here on top of this equation. There's one optimistic, four realistics, and one pessimistic. So this is going to give me an average, but it's weighted. It's leaning towards the realistic estimate. So that's the first step in coming up with a range. The second step in coming up with a range is to figure out the standard deviation. Now, this is a statistical term. We don't need to get deep into the weeds on that because you're trying to pass a PMP exam, not uh, become a statistician. So just know the formula. Pessimistic minus optimistic divided by six is going to give me standard deviation. Once I know that standard deviation, I can then take my three-point estimate that I've determined in step one, subtract and add one standard deviation to it to come up with a 68% uh, confidence level, or two standard deviations to come up with that 95% confidence level. Again, these are statistically proven that if you use those standard uh, deviations, that's the, uh, the confidence that you'll get out of that. So we also saw a term called variance in the question on the previous slide, and variance is determined by coming up with standard deviation squared. If you square the standard deviation, it's going to give you the variance, and I'll show you how that works in just a minute. So if you use uh, a simple average that's also called a triangular distribution this is another way of doing it and that's just a simple average you learn that back in elementary school three numbers on the top we divide we add them together we divide by three that gives me a simple average so you know how to do that but the trick is on the exam if you see this term triangular distribution then we know I use a regular um, simple averaging method but the default method on the exam is to use the beta distribution, which is going to require a couple more steps here. So that's the default. So let's look at an example. Let's say I'm uh, building a commercial office building and my foreman tells me painting the interior of the building will take about 22 days in the best case scenario, 45 days in the worst case, but most likely it's going to take me 30 days, most likely. So let's plug those numbers in and get our three-point weighted average, our optimistic of 22, plus four times my realistic of 30, plus 45, which is my pessimistic. I'm going to divide that whole thing by six, and my three-point weighted average is 31.17 days. Step two to get to a range is to determine the standard deviation. Standard deviation, we know, is pessimistic minus optimistic. In this case, 45 minus 22. We divide that by six, and our standard deviation is 3.83. Now, to come up with a range, I can take my weighted uh, average of 30.17, subtract and add one standard deviation to it and of 3.83 and get a range of 27.34 to 35. That one standard deviation gives me a 68% confidence level, if you remember. But if I want a greater confidence level, I could take my weighted average, subtract and add two standard deviations. So I've taken 3.83 here, uh, multiply it by two to come up with that 7.66 number. And now I can add and subtract that to my weighted average to come up with a bigger range of 23.51 to 3.83. And so using a bigger range with the two standard deviations gives me greater confidence. A bigger target gives me greater confidence that I can hit it. The variance is determined by taking the square root, I'm sorry, by taking the standard deviation and squaring it. So that gives me 14.67. And um, um, alternately, if the question gave you variance as ours did, we take the square root of that to get back to the standard deviation. 
So that's how all those formulas work. Now let's look how this applies back to this sample question. In the question, they gave us the variance. The variance for the project is 16 days. Now I know that variance was not a number that I could use to come up with a range. I needed standard deviation. So the first thing I would do in this question is take the square root of 16 days in order to come up with four days as my standard deviation. So the standard deviation is going to be four days and they've given me the duration. I didn't have to add together those three numbers and divide by six. They already did that for me in the question. So they gave me the estimate is 90 days and they gave me the variance of 16. So I know that I'm going to use a standard deviation of four and add and subtract that to 90 days. Now they've asked me to come up with a 95% probability. So how many standard deviations should we add and subtract uh, from that 90 day uh, duration? Well, I would use two standard deviations to get to that 95% level. So let's look at our choices. Does 58 to 122, is that 90 days plus and minus two standard deviations of four? No, and neither is that. That's looking positive and that's not gonna quite get it. So let's look, the answer here is 82 to 98 days. If my duration is 90 days and my standard deviation is four and I want 95% probability, I'm going to take 90 plus eight and minus eight. That's two standard deviations. And I'll come up with 82 to 98 days. So the answer to this question very simply is 82 to 98 days will give me that target range that I can be 95% confidence, confident my team will actually complete the work during that time period. So that's three point estimating. If you have any questions or you want to learn more about project management professional training, please visit us over at www.pm-prolearn.com. And we look forward to seeing you on more of these PMP hacks. Thanks.